New at 5, NASA is getting ready to launch two separate missions on the same rocket. Right, so think of it maybe as a ride share into <laughs> space. The first mission, Sphere X, is a space telescope that will map the entire sky in more than 100 colors. Mm. The second mission, Punch, includes four small satellites that will study the sun. Craig Muller spoke with NASA about how this will help scientists better understand the universe. Joining me now is Jennifer Rocco with NASA. Jennifer, I got to ask you, coming straight out of the gates, what are you most excited about with this upcoming mission, or I guess missions? <laughs> well, I'm really excited uh, because I've been working on SphereX for about 10 years. I actually was the the lead of the proposal when we proposed SphereX. And so I saw it when it's just a drawing on a napkin. So SphereX is an all sky survey. And so what we're going to do is orbit uh, Earth in low Earth orbit. And instead of looking down at Earth, look out at space. And we're taking a three dimensional map of the entire celestial sphere. That's all of the sky outside of Earth. It's really the first time that we're doing this in, with our rainbow colored glasses. Yeah, oh, and nice. And we're two channels. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get full spectroscopy of the entire celestial sphere, a three dimensional map. That just means that all of the galaxies in all of space are gonna be in our field of view at some point during our mission. Now the other part of this launch is the punch mission. And I just think it's so cool, kind of like a ride share to you know, space. Talk to us about the punch mission. The punch is a heliophysics mission and they're studying the solar wind and, uh, and, and really helping us understand more about space weather. And, and, and that's a really big consideration, not just for humans on the earth, but also mm -hmm. understanding, you know, the environment that we launch into. What do you think about the future of kind of this ride sharing idea? Do you think this is something NASA is kind of leaning into, or was this just super convenient that this one worked out? And for some of these small competed missions, this really does make sense. It's a cost savings to the taxpayer. It helps us take advantage of excess lift capacity and not waste that when we go up into space. And of course, we get more science per dollar um, when we do this together. So although Punch and Spherix are the first independent science missions that are going together, Rideshare has been something that's been, been happening with CubeSats and smaller missions. Jennifer, thank you so much. This is a thrill for me to talk to you. Good luck with the launch and thank you for all that you've done to help make all of this possible. Good luck. That launch was supposed to happen today, but NASA pushed it back until at least Sunday to give them more time to prepare. The mission will take two years, and you can find Craig's full interview with NASA on 13 News Now Plus.